Hello, thank you for watching the following presentation on pacemaker malfunctions. We will be reviewing terminology, causes, and treatment. In failure to capture, the pacemaker fires, but there is no capture that occurs afterwards. It is seen on the ECG as a pacemaker spike that is not followed by a depolarization complex. Note in the above strip, the first and second pacemaker spike is not followed by a complex. The third pacemaker spike is followed by a complex. The fourth is not, the fifth and sixth are followed by complexes, and the seventh and eighth are missing complexes. Failure to capture has different causes. Some causes are equipment related, such as lead dislodgement, inadequate current or MA, battery failure, or it can be patient related, such as electrolyte imbalances, acid base imbalances, hypoxia or ischemia, medications, edema or scar tissue formation at the lead tip. Failure to capture includes the following assessment. The nurse should check the patients for signs of low cardiac output, such as shortness of breath, chest pain, poor mentation, vital signs that are abnormal. Perform a chest x-ray to check lead placement. Perform a 12-lead ECG. Check pacemaker settings and call the manufacturer's representative to interrogate the device as needed. Failure to capture includes the following treatment. Support the patient through any low cardiac output phase. Treat acid base and electrolyte imbalances, hypoxia and ischemia. Increase the pacemaker output or MA. Turn the patient on the left side to increase lead contact with the endocardium. Prepare to pace transcutaneously if necessary. Contact the cardiologist to reposition the, need, the lead if needed. Failure to pace is a malfunction that occurs when the pacemaker fails to deliver an electrical stimulus at the program time. This is recognized on the ECG as an absence of pacemaker spikes or complexes and a return to the underlying rhythm. Note the loss of any pacing or capturing in the middle of the strip above. Failure to pace has different causes, such as battery failure, fracture of the pacing lead wire, displacement of the electrode tip, pulse generator failure, a broken connection between the pacing lead and the pulse generator, or electromagnetic interference such as electrocautery devices in the OR or MRI, or if the sensitivity setting is too high. The treatment for failure to pace includes the following possible interventions. Adjust the sensitivity setting. Replace the pulse generator battery. Replace the pacing lead. Replace the pulse generator unit. Check and tighten all connections between the generator and leads if you're using a temporary transmenus device. Remove any source of electromagnetic interference. Prepare to pace the patient transcutaneously if necessary. Check the pacemaker settings and have a manufacturer's representative interrogate the device if necessary. The picture above shows an interrogation device. Undersensing is a malfunction that occurs when the pacemaker does not sense or see myocardial electrical activity, whether it's intrinsic or paced. The pacemaker then fires earlier than it should. Undersensing or failure to sense is seen on the ECG as a pacing spike that occurs earlier than expected. This can be seen in the third complex in the above strip. Undersensing causes overpacing. Troubleshooting undersensing issues include determining the cause. Perhaps the sensitivity is set too low on the pacemaker. Maybe the pacing catheter is out of position has fractured or is lying in infarcted tissue. Or the pacemaker may be left in an asynchronous mode. Assessment includes checking the patient for signs of low cardiac output, performing a chest x-ray to check lead placement, performing a 12-lead ECG 
and checking the pacemaker settings and interrogating the device as needed. Assess the patient for arrhythmias related to overpacing, caused such as R on T phenomenon, which is shown in this strip. Here, the patient has gone into a deadly arrhythmia, torsades de points. The treatment for undersensing includes supporting the patient through any signs and symptoms of low cardiac output, increasing the sensitivity by turning the dial to a lower number. 0.5 is much more sensitive than 20. Turn the patient on the left side to increase lead contact with endocardium. Contact the cardiologist to reposition the lead. In oversensing, the pacemaker is too sensitive and sees too much. The device senses P waves, T waves, or artifact and thinks they are a full intrinsic beat. The pacemaker fires later than it should. This can be seen on the ECG as a paced beat that occurs later than expected. Oversensing causes underpacing. Troubleshooting oversensing issues include determining the cause. Maybe the sensitivity is set too high. Treatment includes checking the patient for signs of low cardiac output and providing support. Check the pacemaker settings and call the manufacturer's representative to interrogate the device if necessary. Decrease the sensitivity by turning the sensitivity to a higher number. 20 is much less sensitive than 0.5. Pacemaker-mediated tachycardia is another malfunction that occurs when the pacemaker is firing too rapidly, which causes tachycardia. It occurs when AV synchrony is lost and the patient has a retrograde or upward conduction pathway. The unsynchronized ventricular beat will cause retrograde conduction to the atria, causing a paced ventricular response up to the max rate allowed, around 160 to 180. Note the above strip, which shows pacemaker-mediated tachycardia. Pacemaker-mediated tachycardia, or PMT, has different causes. It can be caused by arrhythmias such as AFib, AV block, premature ventricular contractions, atrial oversensing, or a loss of atrial capture. A malfunctioning impulse generator is another cause. This is usually associated with older devices and not seen as often today in the newer devices. Treatment includes applying a magnet to the device to inhibit sensing. Carotid massage can be performed by the physician. Adenosine can be administered to block the AV node. Again, the pacemaker can be interrogated by the manufacturer's representative and reprogrammed to override this. Runaway pacemaker is another malfunction that appears on an ECG as paroxysms of rapid pacing spikes at up to 2,000 beats per minute. Amplitude and rate then decreases, which stops exciting the ventricles. This may result in deadly arrhythmias, bradycardia, or asystole. Again, this rarely occurs in today's newer devices, but can be deadly. Troubleshooting runaway pacemaker includes determining the cause the pacemaker device ha could have a circuit failure, and this may have resulted from exposure to radiation. A low battery or an older device may need replacement. Treatment includes implying a magnet over the pacemaker and replacing the device. The patient may need to be defibrillated or paced transcutaneously if necessary. Thank you.